Hey, guys. Uh, hey, you guys. So my name is Jessica Jones. I am the vice president of Beyond the Chains. Um, my husband, he is incarcerated. So we have started multiple businesses together. We have a mobile mm -hmm. medical lab. Um, we have Beyond the Chains. And I also am a founder of Love Beyond Locks, which is not only a prison wise program, but is also for families with anyone that has somebody um, incarcerated. We basically do a, a many, many workshops. So like communications workshop, PTSD workshop. We actually have an official coming in. Uh, we'll be explaining the process for those for a proxy marriage and those that want to get um, married to a loved one incarcerated. So we have so many good things. And I also have my own medical spa. And also I'm in the process of opening up my phlebotomy school. Hey, okay. We have a lot going on. Yes. 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 What, is, what is your primary focus right now? And why did you get into... Um, you know, the prison aspect as um, far as relationships and the good and the bad and what are you focusing on as far as being in prison relationships, you know? Right. So my main focus is Beyond the Chains, uh, Love Beyond Locks. That's all one thing. Um, I got into it. Basically, I've never dated anybody incarcerated let alone marry somebody <laughs> in there. So that's yeah. how I got started. My husband basically introduced me to this and I just heard him talking. You know, we, I used to talk to like a lot of, uh, you know, people he was incarcerated with and it just, it was just natural for us to want to help. And, you know, not everybody has the support system that my husband has. So we want to give an outlook, you know, an outlet to those that you know need that support and want to start a business while in prison or something like that. I believe everybody should own something, right? Because when you own something, can't nobody take that away from you. Amen. So I feel like I feel like this will be great for those because what happens when they get released from prison? They end up having a hard time finding employment. That be the number one thing, and that resorts back to them, you know going back to the streets or something like mm -hmm. that. A lot of the time, mm -hmm. these men and women just need something to look forward to. They need right. that inspiration. And a lot of the times they didn't even think it was possible that they can start their own business. So everything that we teach is a felon, fe uh, felon friendly business. So, okay. um, you know, DOT drug testing, DNA testing, mm. um, real estate, certain things like that. You know, everything we teach basically felon friendly. Okay. Nice. And so what who help who is an initial person that helped you like with the resources? Because I know you're not able to do everything by yourself, right? Who helps you run your day-to-day -day operation? Like who's your right hand? Who's your right hand while husband is away? Right now, I'm not gonna lie, at first it was just all me. And okay. I just now appointed somebody. So shout out to Jazz. She okay. is my right hand. And Thank also you. a lot of my, um, you know, Love Beyond Locks members, they was like, girl, you, you don't got to tackle this by yourself. Give us a task to do. Give us something to do. So shout out to all my ladies in the program. Those are my rocks right now. And, right. and you know, but Jazz, I like if I need something, I know I can call Jazz. Jazz, I need you to do this for me. And she's on it. <laughs> Okay. So how many people are in your program for love after locks? Uh, um, right now we have uh 25 members. Oh, no, 26 cuz 26 and then we just sent out two registration forms and they are nationwide. They're like not even mm -hmm. in my state. They're everywhere, which is a blessing. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. So your your love beyond locks, what are you as the um is it all females for Right now, it's more. all females. But so okay. what happens is, so Beyond Locks is is usually a lot of prison wives that tend to come here. But I also have a mother that has their child incarcerated and wants to support them in a way. So, mm -hmm. um, she just signed up, which is a oh my thing fell. Well, she just signed up, which is a blessing. Mm -hmm. So, um, she's so the mother she signed up. Um, okay. she has her her child incarcerated. Okay. And that's our first family member. That's our okay. first family member. So I'm really excited that's about that because I, I could be able to help support her and her mm -hmm. child because she never had a child mm -hmm. incarcerated before. Right. So that's that's one. 
And then um, we have mostly prison wives for the most part. And then what happens is the prison wives ends up, um, you know, letting their husbands know. And then they end up registering to become a Beyond the Chains member. Okay. Okay. So you also, um, you also were... You, you also will have. Effect. You also will have some guys that have um, sons that are locked up, and they're like the active member in the family, taking care of the son, maybe taking care of the daughter. You know, so eventually, as your program grows, it's gonna be more parents that need somebody like you and what you're putting out there to support the parent that is, you know, looking out for the kid that's locked up. Because when a kid is locked up versus a, I say young adult, like when we were locked up, we were locked up as young adults, right? right. And then our parents didn't have a clue, especially for the length of time. Like me, I was gone for eight and a half years, you know, about nine years, I got a 10 year sentence, Sade the same. So when you have a parent that is watching the child, mm -hmm. you know, being and calling and all of that, the support yeah. that they're given in the program that you started is, is, is very wow. much needed in every community, okay. let alone our, you know, black and brown community. Right. It is. Right. Uh, it's super important because during this time, this is where families tend to break up, right? Or get into disagreements. Couples are not working out. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of family members stop talking, right. people disappear, and a lot of the times it's just the lack of support, and sometimes mm -hmm. they don't know how to attend to those that are incarcerated, right? Because they go through their own things behind the wall in prison. So mm -hmm. about PTSD, that is a real thing. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, mental health, that is a real thing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times they're going through these mental things behind the wall that you know, we don't know. Like I wasn't fully aware of PTSD. I didn't know really too much about that. We're not yeah. really taught too much about that, right? Unless if it affects us solely, that's what we're like, you know, okay, let's learn about it. But I never knew too much about that stuff. So this is why I brought, you know, Love Beyond Locks and Beyond the Chains because we want to keep families, you know, together during this time because they need that support. And families, like, I'm tired of seeing broken families. Like, yes. that's just, like, the number one thing going on in our community is broken families. So mm -hmm. we got to show something different. We got to put out something different. I'm tired of seeing toxic relationships on TV. I am tired yes. of seeing, yes. you know, people crying on TikTok. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad because it is it's such a negative narrative out there but why is nobody highlighting the positive like there is a lot of smart men and women behind prison walls it a is. lot of them my husband is not the first person to have a business in prison right. you know it's just fortunate i'm able to showcase it to the world and to the forefront but there's other men and women that have businesses and do amazing things for the community behind the wall. So right. this is something that I want to showcase. This is something I want to scream to the top of my lungs. They are human beings. I don't yes. want that stigma to stick to them even when they come home. So right. it's like basically what we're doing is changing the narrative. Right. Definitely. You definitely doing that, honey. Okay. And when you, when, <clears throat> when, you um, do the transition from like, say somebody wants to be a part of um, the spa, your your spa that you have going on. Mm -hmm. um, will you, are you able, are they able to transit? Would you be able to start them with their own business opening a spa as well? Yes. Yeah, so there's some services that are unregulated services, right? So it doesn't require a license depending on your state. They mm -hmm. have to look at their state. But mm -hmm. there's always ways around certain things. Like I teach people how to hire other people to do things that they are not legally able, you know, to do. Okay. So I, I, I basically, based on your situation, based on your state finances, the support, like I basically, I do like a custom plan for them because everybody's situation is different. Right, right. Because there's a, even with us, um, there's been so many obstacles with, 
you know, just having a bag. The, like getting a licensing, stuff like yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. I had a woman who couldn't even register to school because she was incarcerated. She didn't do nothing crazy, mm -hmm. but because she was incarcerated, she was unable to attend school. Right. Um, Certain programs. And what program was she trying to get into? Um, shoot, that is a good question. I don't mm -hmm. remember what it was because this was a long time. This is when I was first starting. Mm -hmm. And I was, I'm basically learning as I go. So the yeah. more people that come into my program with different situations, that's when I start like, oh, snap. Like, you'd be surprised what you hear. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh. And then I start doing my research. And right. then, you know, luckily I have other members that may be in their state are a little more familiar with their laws. And then we mm -hmm. look into it from there. So it's like a state-by-state -state thing. Yeah, because I found that when I was registering for uh, college, they were saying, oh, you can't get financial aid because you're a drug felon and so forth. But mm -hmm. I end up calling them when it came to that question. They asked you the felony question and so forth. I called financial aid myself and mm -hmm. did the research and asked them, okay, I, I'm right here. I'm stuck at this question. And she was like, what do you want? I said, well, it says, have you ever been uh, convicted of a felony? And I said, I have, but mm -hmm. then how should i ask it because i think it was some other kind of small print it was it seven years or or some drug convention or some conviction or something like that so mm -hmm. she explained to me she said well if you've been to treatment for your drug conviction you would know uh, that you would say no on the application and i'm like really say mm -hmm. no she said, yeah you would say no. <laughs> now that's good to know <laughs> yeah you can right. no. yeah. know because Treat financial me. aid is is united states wide exactly you know? Exactly. So it's always to to good. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people can't afford to go back. their pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because see, I know someone that um they work for the state. Now y'all know how hard it is to get a state job. Mm -hmm. So he works for the state, and he um he been there now like maybe sixteen years, right? Okay. Prior to that, when he was young, he's in his forties now. So when he was younger, he got a a gun conviction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the conviction it was just caught with a gun it wasn't no violence right mm -hmm. when he tried to go higher up the ladder they needed him higher up but that one thing like she said the seven years right that mm -hmm. small print stopped him that he thought to where he couldn't go up to be a foreman right mm -hmm. so he was in the struggle of see a lot of men and women they have this because we're, we're, we're we have these street codes. Mm -hmm. um, I can't defend myself. So I right. went to jail for being in a car, and a pistol was there, and nobody says nothing. He catches the charge. Everybody should catch the charge. Wasn't even his pistol. Do you explain that? Do you say that? So he had a in in his own beliefs, he didn't want to explain that. So he kept mm -hmm. going around the question, you know, hey, I just got caught. I was young, I got caught with it. So he went to um, I guess an expungement hearing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's gone. It's off his record, but he cannot carry a gun. So that's the argument with the state of Minnesota right now. Oh, Bill has it off his record, but he can't get the gun though and he wants the gun because he's in a very mature though responsible now right at that time he wasn't but so it's like these laws and the things can be bent right all of his friends you know his colleagues that are you know other other cultures you know the privileged culture they're mm -hmm. telling him and they're fighting for him to get it mm -hmm. but they can't but you know it won't happen it won't happen and so in those type of situations um, do you guys, you guys, I'm because it looks like you offer the support support groups, right? That because a person coming out and and not having no money is a really that's that's a real depressing. Yeah, it is. exactly. And that's one of my goals is actually me and my husband. We want to open up a transitional housing. Mm -hmm. We want to do that. That's one of the things we're definitely looking into when he comes home. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, it's the resources, right? Your friend had resources and people around him to mm -hmm. give him that knowledge, mm -hmm. like, you know, to he could fight to, you know, just know his rights as mm -hmm. from what happened. But a lot of the time people don't have somebody giving them the knowledge and the resources that they can fight their case for certain things. A lot of them think, 
all right, I got convicted with this. I didn't really do this. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm not nothing about it because they don't know that they do have a right. Wow. So it's all about like, you know, again, building that community that's willing to give out resources, willing to share information. That's that's the key. Information right. with knowledge is power. Like we need that. <laughs> we definitely do. Mm -hmm. um, when by by um by you having, you know, your 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 husband is on his way home and by you having like the kids and then the business mm -hmm. and then you have the spa like how do you oh my god you need, it seemed like you need 50 hours versus the 24 hours okay are you on like a schedule like do you you know write out your day i you, you know write out your week some i just now bought me a planner Okay. I just now bought me a planner. This whole time I've been doing it, I've been winging it. And okay. unfortunately, I wasn't as organized as I should have been. I kind of mm -hmm. was like, wing I'm learning as I go. This is new right. for me. I right. started off with just one beauty business. Right. Now I got multiple. And I started mm -hmm. off with just me, my husband, a few people. Now I got... 25 and even more because I even mentor other people from other businesses. So I have all these people lives in my hand that interrupt right. me to take them to the next level. Right. That is pressure. Right. I, I can imagine. I don't know how I do it, but I'm blessed that I'm able to do it because, you know, I'm a very spiritual person mm -hmm. and I ask God every day, you know, walk me down the path you best see fit for me because right. I, I didn't know which way I was supposed to go. You know, right. you, as we get older, we still find in our purpose, like, you know, mm -hmm. and it it, it, it it comes to us, but we still walking at, you know, I didn't know what my purpose, I'm like, God, whatever my purpose is at this point, because mm -hmm. I just, I'm dibbling, dabbling in every damn thing. Like, I love to learn. Right. So I'm able to do so many different things because my ass can't stop learning. <laughs> it's just yeah. one of those and things. That's a good thing. No, it, it, it's, a, it's a gift and a curse, I tell you, because yeah. I always swear I want to know some more. <laughs> but, you know, I, I left it to God and I promise you, though, I, I just, I, I let, I'm just like, just lead me. And I just followed. And when I say everything just started falling into my lap organically. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, right, this is my purpose. I had people call me, crying to me that I don't even know in different states. Like, we look up to you. My city, look up to my city, this. I'm like, your city? Like, woo. Yeah. <laughs> like, me? Y'all don't see me? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I be stuck. My husband, like, why wouldn't they see you? I'm like, babe, I just feel like I'm Jessica from the block. Like, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> like, you know, I still feel like I, I didn't make it. Like, you know, like, I, I'm I ain't no, I ain't nobody mentioned. <laughs> So right. I'm like, I still feel oh, like you'll I'm, get there. No, yeah, I yeah. definitely will. Praise <laughs> the Lord, I'm, I'm gonna get there. But I just be thinking like, I'm just me, right? Like I'm just right. Jessica. Call me, girl. Like I'm. Right. But people look at me in this light, and sometimes it be so like <gasps> oh, mind blowing. Man. Like y'all look at me like that, and that means I'm doing something right. If 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 I can motivate somebody, get them out of a situation help them better themselves or anything like that. If my name could touch a city, I ain't never even stepped in. Right. Like, I'm doing something right. God, yeah. God, like, all right, I just got to keep going with it. So yeah. Re remember remember yeah. the pressure I gave you. Um, I told you my daughter found you. Right. So my daughter is a person that um, she was, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I got to word it right. Um, result, right. Mm -hmm. Of what, I was, I fell victim to, right? Mm -hmm. um, the 1994 crime bill. And mm -hmm. so by me being gone, you know, from 97 to 2006, um, you know, she was a little girl and yeah. she didn't know me. I left when she was, what, five months. And mm -hmm. so she didn't, she didn't know me. And so she got to know me when I got out when she was like um, nine years old, cause I caught the case. Uh, four days after she was born. born yeah. So her, she, anything that she sees that looks like it's going to help just because of the battle that, you know, I've had with her. Yeah. You know, our relationship is beautiful now, but yeah. the situation when she was younger, it wasn't always pretty. So right. for her to see anything like this or any programs that help, she always sends it like, mom, look, check her out. Look at this. You right. need to interview her. Then was her yeah, word. Was so, her, yeah. I, I <laughs> tell her thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, she did. So she looked all through your page and all of that. So oh, yeah, we just you. appreciate that, you know. Yeah. 
another light has come into, you know, the you definitely understand what us as people that have done time right because right. you're the one that's helping them. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate you just allowing me, you know, on your platform yeah. because this is the way we get the word out, right? This right. is the way this it starts here. Yeah. So once it starts here and we we build these conversations, mm -hmm. people are going to listen. Right. People are going to be either motivated, wanting to know more, mm -hmm. something. It's going to capture their their attention that's somehow. That's and that's how it starts. And maybe it will unlock something in them to want to make that change, to want right. to do something. So mm -hmm. this is why like, I, I do what I do. And I even came up with a whole leadership program. It's a five-week leadership program mm -hmm. because I want to create more leaders. Right. I can't listen. We can't do this by ourselves now. No. <laughs> I need an army behind me. It's right. Like when you are tackling the justice system, oh. yeah. you need an army. You yeah. need it's not, it's not easy, but we are more powerful in numbers. Numbers, yes. We need the numbers. We are powerful in numbers. I want to be able to delegate women in different states to tackle certain things. I just gave some of my members um. Uh, they're going to be doing interviews too on behalf of us. Like, I don't want to be the face of this. Like, this is all of us. This is our right. doing. So it's not and just that's me. so sweet. That's so, yeah. you said a key yeah. thing, Jessica, that is so important to spread it out because most people, they want all for self. Oh, put the light on me. Oh, it's about me. You right. know, and on then the they have all these people helping them and right. they never push anybody else to step My up. My girls right? will tell like, you every day. So I right mean, about building out. Building out. Yeah. Every day, my, my ladies will tell them, we meet every week, weekly, rather it's, um, we have, we're doing a specific task or sometimes I just want every, I want to check on everybody's mental, right? I don't mm -hmm. know what kind of week they had. Right. They don't know what kind of week I had. Sometimes right. we just sip wine, eat food and, and vent and cry, laugh. We do all of that stuff. It don't always, you know, work, work, work. But right. I tell them, this is not just my program. This is our program. I can't yeah. do this without y'all. Like right. I can only do but so much, but mm -hmm. if you are my yeah, they're my backbone. So as right. my backbone, I need y'all to be my front to my right. side, front of right. me, never in back of me, front yeah. to the side, never to the back. So how do you how 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 um what what region are you in? Can you let the viewers know the region that you're in? If you know, say me and Shade wanna, you know, we're over. Yeah, you, so you know, come yeah. up and see you and talk I'm to you. I'm in New talk. York. I'm in mm -hmm. New York. We have members in Texas. We have members down south. We have members okay. in Georgia, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So we got a few. We got a few members everywhere, and we don't mind linking up. I done met with some of the girls and stuff like that in person. Okay. I invite them to you know anything I could attend. They want to attend. Let's yeah. go do this together. You know if they could yes. fly out or if I need to come to them to their state. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the conversations we're going to have. What mm -hmm. do you want to tackle in your state? What right. is it that you feel? Because every state is different. That's every different. state, you know, lacks something than the other. So right. I always my members, that's today's, you know, interview, um, not interview meeting, is mm -hmm. what do you want to tackle in your state and how can I help? How can we help as a group? Mm -hmm. right. that in our state so we got to start tackling son i don't want us to just be on those zoom crying right. Right. I'll, be telling, I'll be telling these girls they know i tell everybody that you know registers we are not a prison wives group you right. see that facebook takes out prison wife prison wife you mm -hmm. either yeah. crying mad sad happy i don't know but right. we are an actual program to where is we want to take action. We are yes. not going to just cry. We are not going to just roll over and let stuff occur to right. our loved ones or to those that are incarcerated. We are actually trying to make a movement to actually do something about this mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference between us and a prison wives group. We are not a group. Okay. We are a program. We are a right. <laughs> Yes. So when do you expect your loved one, your husband to come home? All I can say is very, very soon. Awesome. Very, very what, soon. What's the first thing he wants to do, or right? Wait, I was about okay. to say, what's the first thing he want to do? Because I know what the first thing he want to do. But I mean, right. other than that, mm -hmm. um, he does. He just wants to lock in with us for a good two weeks. He said, he said, oh, I want to be with my family for two weeks. I want to be with the kids. I want to take the kids to school. Uh, he want to do pick me up from work. Take mm -hmm. me out to dinner. He want to do those things. Those are the things he's just laying up, watching TV, yeah. uh, me nagging on him, picking on him. Like he looks forward to those little things. He and you know what? That's so sweet because thing. although I'm I'm don't 
have a husband, I get it, right? But you're you're what I like that he's doing for you is that he wants to service you, yes. right? Cater to you, learn the routine of what yes. you've been doing. So that's very important that that is the first thing that's on his mind. Like he's not being selfish. Right. Mm -hmm. No, so that, that, that is I, like, everything is, really everything good. is, what could I, what could I do to help you? What I need to, I need to repay you. And it's like, I keep telling them, you do not yeah. have to repay me back. Cause I didn't do this to get repaid back. I did this because right. out of love. Yeah, right. But he yeah. just feels like I got to do so much for you. I got to, I'm like, you don't got to do nothing but be a good husband. Right. That's all I ask. And let's tackle these things now side by side now. Now there will be somebody next to me. My husband will be next to me. Right. We're going to be tackling these things together by the clock. Right. <laughs> and how many, how many kids do you guys have? Six in total. Okay. And Six so y'all got y'all tribe. Anybody off the tribe, do they want to help? with the business are they you know are they into what you guys are doing or are the they kids you mean the kids are so the kids are definitely will all want to start their own business hey, <laughs> okay. they start the business right. um our son jamir he wants to be a part of beyond the chains so okay. we want to open up a youth section you know like a youth program yeah, and nice. we teach him to lead and delegate the youth program right okay mm -hmm. okay I love him. I love yeah, him. he definitely wants to do that. My daughter, she's in college. She wants to do photography. Okay. Um, my youngest daughter, you know, my 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 husband asks, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? She goes, I want to be an icon. I said, I hear that. Right. <laughs> I said, well, I she's know watching. What she's says, she's watching the I'm best like, examples is in the house. She's exactly. watching both of them exactly. right there. Right. Yeah. So everybody, everybody wants to start their own program and we're definitely going to do a youth program. Okay. Um, we're going to have our son, you know, lead to that. And, you know, I, I'm just excited. We want to keep this in the family. We want to break generational curses. I'm yes. the first person in my family to have a business. So mm -hmm. now my kids have it. So we broke that. So yeah, I, I'm blessed that we broke that. We broke actually mm -hmm. a lot of generational curses. Yeah. So it started for me, thank God, that I, I just said, all right, no, my kids can't go through what I went through growing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is something I'm like super, super happy about, proud of. And, you know, yeah. I, like this is just the beginning. All right. Okay. So do you want to, um, in ending, do, what do you want to, um, you know, let everybody know? how to contact you and what you got coming next. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys want to reach out, our email is support at beyond the mm -hmm. If you want to be a part of the program, the love beyond locks, it is um, members at love beyond mm -hmm. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> We are on every platform possible. Um, it's beyond the chains. Uh, my personal Instagram is wish on this star. It's all underscores in between each word. But yeah, beyond the chains, that y'all gonna see us everywhere. I, I'm determined awesome. to see us everywhere. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. I'm excited for you. I'm really excited. And, and we and we 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 are looking forward to interviewing you. Yes. Um, by the time you know when your husband gets out, we would like to interview both of y'all. So yes, we hope you know <laughs> this interview. We got to pump it, pump it, pump it. Right. Yes, and <laughs> we, we, we we locked he, in all of us. Yes, girl. Yes, because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna probably have cold feet when he gets out and start. Oh, like, at no, all listen. Let me tell you, he is excited. He is oh, good. ready. He's okay. like, I just need two. He said, I just need the two weeks with my family. He said, after that, I just want to take off running. Yes. I mean, he wants to do interview. He's like, because I um everybody reached out. They're like, when is he coming home? We want y'all to jump on this interview. We want y'all to this. And I'm like, babe, you ready? And I got booked to on different states to talk in different events. Uh -huh. So I'm like, this is new for him. So he's like, babe, we flying out. I'm like, yeah, right. out. Like, we no. out. <laughs> yes. So I'm yes. excited. I know with him coming home. That's just going to take it off even mm -hmm. more. He, right. and, it, and I know everybody's going to want to watch. Like, yes. Yes. how's he going to hold it down? Is he going to yes. hold it down? Yeah. Is he going to do this? Is he going to do that? Is he living up to his name? Right. Yeah. Tune in because we do have a documentary coming out as well. Okay. <laughs> and when, okay. when when will when do you think the documentary will come? Sometime well, we, this year next. Yeah, this this year. It's definitely coming this year. We already okay. got some episodes out. We just okay. went in, you know, for when he come home, then we're gonna really just like tap up. Things, uh, but uh, yeah, we already got little snippets out on the page and everything. Nice. Uh, nice. Thanks y'all for tuning in to meet the shoe. Make sure y'all catch up with 
our sponsors, Bossed Up Beauty, Cashmere Lux, Alina Beans Organic. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.